Hi, this is Lisa, the Gifted Guru, and I want to show you how to create your own memes or have your students create them at memecreator.org. It's very simple, not even really worth a tutorial, but there are a couple of little tricks that can help. First, when you go to the memecreator.org website, it'll look like this, and you'll select Create, which is the middle of those three green buttons. You get a couple of choices when you get here. And if you're working with a class of students, I suggest that you not look at trending because sometimes those can be a little bit edgy. You can use one of the featured memes that they already have, which are common pictures that people use to create memes. And I'm just scrolling down to show you some of the ones that they have. You can also choose upload and if you choose this one it'll let you upload your own picture which you would just do by choosing a file so let's say I wanted to create a meme and I'm gonna go to some of my images you're getting a view of the guts of my computer and I could create a meme using this file that I have that is um, an 8-track tape or I could choose a different one so you can choose your own um, and to do that you would choose the file and then click agree and upload and you have to put in a title of what you want it to be so I could call it 8-track which is what that was and oops lost my file 8-track tape agree and upload and then it'll put it up there and I can create a meme out of my own image now Let's say, however, that rather than creating one out of an image that I chose, I want to create one out of an image that's popular or common. And a lot of these have similar top titles that they would use or captions based on what people are used to seeing from them. So I'm going to choose this condescending Willy Wonka. And I just choose the picture and then I click insert caption. Now, right here where it says enter caption, I pick, I type in whatever I want. And usually these Willy Wonka memes start with so. So I could say something like, so you live in Texas. I'm actually making this up as I go. And then after I've typed in what I want, I can choose how large of a font I want it to be. And I'm going to choose 32 point font, which is big enough so that you can see it clearly, but small enough that all my text can fit. Do not click save at this point. If you do, you're done, although it will let you come back. For instance, let me show you what I mean. I click save, but I wasn't really save. I wasn't really ready to save because I didn't have anything at the bottom. So I can scroll down and underneath the picture it'll say recreate this meme, and I can do that and it will let me start over again. So I start over again and it's saved because I'm in Chrome probably. Save this. So you live in Texas. And now to add something at the bottom, then I would insert another caption. So insert caption. So you live in Texas. And then I would click insert caption again. It's going to just lay it over on top, but I can move it anywhere I want just by clicking on it and dragging. And then I put whatever I want here. Um, so let's say, so I live in Texas. You must be the luckiest person in the world. Well, as you can see, that's kind of a long thing to say and won't fit with 24 point font. If I move it to 12 point font, it will show, or even 16, but that's still kind of small. So I can do it that way if I want to, or I can do something like this. I can go in here and cut that part out, make this now bigger, back to 24 point font, move it up a little bit, click insert caption again, move it down below, and now I get to put in what was really too much text um, to fit in it before. And now I have two lines of text. I'm going to drag it to make it centered because it's two lines. And now I can click Save. It very quickly saves this. 
and you can send it through Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, um, or you can click there, share, and go from there. Now I will tell you a little trick that I use is to do this. I open up PowerPoint. If you don't like PowerPoint, don't tell me because it's one of my favorites. Click insert screenshot and I can then save the meme by cropping this photo to be just the meme. See how I move this in to just the edges? And then once I've done that, when I right click on it, let me back it back up just a little bit here. When I right click on it, then, um, then PowerPoint will allow me to save it. I right click, I can save it as a picture. So then I have it just isolated, not connected to anything else. So that's how you use memecreator.org and I think this is a great tool for teachers to use as they want to have students create things related to characters so they could upload a picture of a character and create a meme related to that character. They could create one related to obviously any kind of location, a book, even an equation or something related to your core content, whatever it is. So if you want a way for kids to create creative products that relate to what you are studying or if you just want to infuse a little bit of fun into your classroom memecreated.org is a great way to do it if you have any questions feel free to email me at lisa at lisavangammert.com or visit me at giftedguru.com